Hi, I'm Jill Fry, and in this video, we're going to show you how to use your Pluto trigger to capture lightning. For this video, I've teamed up with fellow Aussie photographer Anthony Lombardi from Fluid Images. Anthony has managed to capture some magic shots of lightning with his Pluto trigger. I've captured a couple, but I seem to live in an area where we don't get a lot of lightning storms. So together, we're going to take you through, step by step, how to get the best lightning shots. And please check Anthony's Insta out. The link is in the description below and at the end of this video. And make sure you stay to the end because I have 40 discount codes given to me by Pluto so you can save 15% off your Pluto purchase. I'll reveal the code at the end. Taking lightning shots at night can be relatively simple due to being able to use a long exposure time. But lightning shots during the day without a trigger can be a real hit and miss affair. You take one million photos in the hope you'll get one lightning strike. With the Pluto trigger set up correctly, it will fire when lightning strikes. So you get the shot and still have room on your card for the rest of the night. First things first, safety. Lightning storms can be thrilling, but they can also be dangerous. You do not want to be out with an approaching storm with a lightning conductor, that is your tripod, by your side. Did you know, for example, that lightning can strike 20 kilometers from the parent thunderstorm? So just be sensible. Seek cover in your car or under shelter but not under a tree, which also acts like a lightning conductor. And no, wearing rubber thongs will not save you. The equipment you're going to need are a camera, a tripod, a Pluto trigger, and if it's quite light, you may need your neutral density filters or a polarizer. First thing to do is to set up your camera on a tripod. Then set your lens so you can focus manually. On a lot of lenses you'll see a little switch on the side of the lens which says AF or MF. The MF is for manual focus and the AF is for autofocus. So switch it to MF. Compose your scene and manually focus on infinity. Then put your camera into manual mode so you can dial in the ISO, aperture and speed. The one thing you must remember from this video is that the shutter speed needs to be 1 15th of a second or slower. So to get this during the daytime you need to set your ISO as low as possible for example ISO 100 or ISO 50 and your f-stop to f8 or f11. If you are finding that you can't get the exposure right with these settings, then use an appropriate neutral density filter, an ND filter, or even a polarizer so you can slow down the shutter speed. Any faster than 1 15th of a second and you risk missing the entire strike and only get the beginning of the strike like in this image. Next, you have to turn on your Pluto trigger and open up your Pluto app. There are three lines on the top left. When you tap these, they will reveal the menu. Scroll down to the lightning mode. Click the pre-focus button on the bottom right. You can enable the pre-focus option, that button on the lower right, to minimize the camera shutter delay which is equivalent to half press the shutter button. However, you will not be able to view photos on your camera screen until you stop the lightning mode. Also, it may consume a little more battery power on your camera. You will see two semicircle rings. The outer circle in the lightning mode is the change of light intensity. 
compare this to the light mode, which is another mode in the Pluto trigger, where the outer circle means the light intensity. So it is the change of light intensity in the lightning mode. The inner ring is the sensitivity of the Pluto to light. This is the one you'll need to adjust. Set the sensitivity to high, that is the circle is around to the right a little bit. Press play. The camera will start shooting regardless if there is a strike or not on this setting. This is where you need to adjust the setting by slowly winding it down until the camera stops shooting. You may initially find it difficult to find that sweet spot. Since it is the change in light intensity in the lightning mode, the value is very small or even zero when there's no light change. When light intensity changes, the value will increase dramatically and if it's over the threshold, the trigger fires. You can test the trigger by passing your hand in front of the sensor on the trigger. When you remove your hand, it should trigger the camera. Be aware that lightning strikes not directly in your camera view will also trigger your camera, resulting in blank shots. So hopefully this gets you started. It's certainly a case of practice makes perfect. Many thanks to Anthony Lombardi for his assistance in putting together the information for this video. Make sure you check out his Instagram page for more lightning shots. Ah, oh, and the discount code for purchasing your Pluto Trigger. At checkout, put in this discount code jill-fry-15% There are only 40 codes available so get in quick. Thanks for watching and hit the like and subscribe button for more upcoming videos on the Pluto Trigger and how to improve your photography. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye.